of Senator Judith Troth, Deputy Secretary of DAF, Dr. Philip Gleib, our important sponsors, Ms. Trudy Von Hoff from Westpac, and our friends from ABC Rural and the Rural Press. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here again, and on behalf of the Rural Industries R&D Corporation board and staff, to add my own welcome to Parliament House and to our annual dinner to celebrate the contribution that women make to rural Australia. This dinner is a culmination of much effort by many people throughout the year. It's also RedEx's annual celebration of women and their contribution to rural Australia. We know through one of our own reports that the total on-farm contribution by women in agriculture has been valued at more than 8.5 billion. We also know that there are many, many ways in which women value add to the formal and informal economy through their active and ongoing contributions. Last year, we celebrated our 10th anniversary of the award, and we're now embarked on our next decade. It's truly a celebration of the energy, enthusiasm, and innovation of rural women. This year also marks the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day. The world inhabited by the Australian women in 1911 seems very far away from us. Communications were very different. Transport remained horse-drawn. Living conditions in rural and remote Australia were tough. Women were essential to the growth of our new nation, working alongside their men, raising their families and contributing to their communities. It is in this sense that we remain connected to them. We also share one other demographic reality with those women. The majority, over 80% of Australia's population, still lives in the southeast corner or around the edges of our country. Around four or five of us live only 50 kilometres from the coast. Another way of putting this is that three quarters of Australians live in 17 cities with 100,000 or more residents. And while we're a very mobile nation, it's a fact that over the past 100 years, the centre of gravity of our population has moved very little. In fact, Graham Hugo says, the centre of gravity has moved from one side of Cowra to the other side of Cowra in 100 years. The report produced by the panel on demographic change and livability, of which I was a member, was released in December last year. The panel was very keen to highlight the link between food and fibre production, land availability and rural and remote sustainability. It was also keen to showcase the need to consider the intergenerational change sweeping through rural and remote Australia and the need to plan for this change. The report strongly urged that government ensure that any future planning does not further stigmatise or create a second women's award. This is our big night and uh, it's what a lot of week people work for all year. Um, it celebrates the role of women in Australian agriculture, forestry and fisheries, and it's a national award, so it draws on women from all states in the territories. We are very, very pleased with the sponsorship we get from Westpac, from ABC and from the Rural Press. And we also get sponsorship from the state governments, uh, the state government agencies and the federal government, of course. Yes, I've been following the award for many, many years now, not just when I've, since I've been chair. And it really does bring out the best in people. Um, each state, of course, selects its own winner and then we celebrate a national winner and a national runner-up. And the, the quality of the women and their exciting projects that they're planning, uh, their networking with each other, it's just, it's just tremendous. The, tonight's winners are impressive and tonight's winners um, go right across the whole spectrum of what it means to live in rural and remote Australia. So we have women who represent industries such as cotton, for example, but we also have women who work with their communities, who work with the industry, and uh, so from that point of view, the award is more than simply farming, which I think has been one of the uh, sort of challenges in the past has been people have thought, oh, this is just about a woman on a farm. But in actual fact, over the years, the, the award has spread and it now is really the contribution that women make to rural Australia.
First of all, I would say that it's um, uh, consciousness raising for yourself. I think that it, it gives a lot of self-confidence. It um, teaches you that the work you're doing is um, really important. Uh, many women tend to put aside the work that they do and say, everybody's doing that, I'm not special. I think I would encourage them to, to look firstly at what it brings to them. And then, of course, it brings great kudos to their industry and it brings um, real excitement to their communities. Our winner this year, the Wheat Belt, will be so excited by her win. Um, so I would say to the people who are thinking about it, give it a go. Um, yes, it can be a bit challenging, but it's, it's worth it in the long run.